Alright, we go to the second archetype of Lyrical Monasterio, this time being Alestials, along with some Shaman King stuff. So let's begin. But first, cards from the last few days. So let's start off with the remaining Monster Strike stuff with Lei Didi of Reincarnation, Mikasuki Munichaka. Grade 2, 9 power and skills. Auto Rear Guard, if you have another unit in the same column as this unit, aka a booster, cause this card a card from hand, until the end of turn, if this card attacks, it could battle all your opponent's front row units. Not bad, the only thing is, we already have a lot of retires and monster strikes so I don't think this is quite necessary, especially when it requires a card in the same column, which will usually be a booster because you're going to be attacking all front row units. Although there is a difference in cost, so you might want to prefer this if you want to pay less counterblast. But anyway, second skill, auto rearguard. When your opponent's rearguard is retired during your turn, choose one of your vanguards and gets those 5 key power to the end of the turn. You have multi-retiring in the nation, so you're going to get quite a bit of power up. We continue off with Little Demonic Dance Unit, Mononoki Girl. Grade 3, 30 Baron skills. Auto Vanguard Rear Guard. When this card attacks, cost Soul Blast 2 into the end of that battle. Your opponent must intercept with all the rear guards as much as possible. One of my favorite kinds of non targeting removal, although it's a hefty cost. And then for the last Monster Strike card, Arsene Phantom Mode. Grade 2 Tank of Balance Skills. Auto Vanguard Rear Guard. When this card attacks, cost Counter Blast 1. Put all trigger units on your rear guards to your soul, and this card gets most tanky power for each one you put. You do have some random superior calling in Monster Strike, but in normal circumstances, this is probably not even worth the power up. Second skill Auto Rear Guard. When this card attack hits, Counter Charge 1. Well, at least you got the Counter Charge pressure. And now to the Lyrical Monasterial cards. We're going to start off with a set order, special live tour around the world. It's a grade 3 set order, which of course when you play it, you put it in your order zone, and its ability is act order zone. Once per turn, costs counter blast 2, choose one of your vanguards, and to the end of the turn, it gets this ability. Count vanguard, all your rearguards get plus 5k power. Now this skill isn't really anything amazing, especially when you have to counter blast 2 to give your vanguard the ability for a mass power up for your front row, but this might end up being a staple for Lyrical Monasterio, all because it's a set order, and we might get support that requires the set order. But of course, it gives the vanguard ability for the power up for the whole front row, so there's always combos where you can also have, like for example, bouncing back your rear guard and then calling more in mid battle, and then those unit gets plus additional 5k. So yeah, I see this card as just a possible staple for Lyrical Monasterio. Next, Alpaciano Justine. Grade 1, 60 power and skills. Auto, when this card is discarded from hand during your turn, cost Soul Blast 1, call this to an open rear guard. We already have some Lyrical Monasterial cards that have discarding as a cost. And of course there's also possible support that will also require you to discard a card for cost as well. So this being the discard target to negate that cost, that's pretty nice. Especially when you could just discard it for your ride deck. And now to the Tuesday stream, we're going to start off with the Alestial ride line, with the starter being Monochromonic Personality Alestial. And then she grows up into Indecisive Sky Alestial, which is a grade 1 AK power and skills. Auto, when placed on Vanguard, find the top card of your deck. And then you activate one of these listed below effects depending on the cards on your mind zone. White Wings. Count, Vanguard. The next time you would ride from your ride deck, you may Soul Blast 1 instead of choosing a card from your hand to discard it. Black Wing. Count, Vanguard. All your opponent's grade 1 or less units cannot attack this unit. Obviously, the Black Wing ability is better off if you go first, but what is the White Wing and Black Wing mechanic? It's basically a type of ability depending on what grades that you have in your bind zone. White Wing abilities are only activated if you only have odd grades in your bind zone, aka grade 1s, grade 3s, Black Wings is even numbers. So zeros and twos, so both of them are 50-50 chance. And I get the idea considering that it has a black and a white wing. I assume balancing between yin and yang, or using the light or the dark part of yourself. And no, you're not adding grades. So if you have like a grade one and a grade two, both abilities cannot activate. Because like I said, the white wings can only be activated if you have odd number grades. And black wings being even numbers. We might get some interesting card in the future that lets you use both at the same turn, regardless of condition, but so far I see this as an interesting mechanic. And now Alestiel continues to grow up as Shining Aces Alestiel, grade 2, tank around skills. Auto Vanguard. When placed, choose a card from your bind zone, put it at the bottom of your deck, and then bind the top card of your deck. Well, this skill is pretty much guaranteed to activate, your grade 1 already binds a card from the top card of your deck, 
and gives herself a 50-50 chance on what ability you're going to be activating. This one kind of refunds that part and then rebinds it so you could activate one of these two abilities of course being White Wings, Act Vanguard once per turn and cost counter blast 1. This card gets plus 1 crit into the end of the turn. Black Wings, count Vanguard during the battle that this card attacks. Your opponent cannot call trigger units from hand to the Guardian Circle. So mainly want the White Wings for the extra crit pressure as guard restricts don't really do much as a grade 2. But obvious ride deck card is obvious because these have no rear guard skills apparently. Finally to her greatest form, Archangel of Twin Wings Alestial. Grade 3, 13 commandment skills. Auto Vanguard, at the beginning of your main phase, choose one card from your bind zone, put it to your hand. Then bind the top card of your deck. Alright that's good because your grade 2 is going to be binding a card. So this letting you return that bind card back to your hand and replace it to something else is of course pretty nice especially when you want to give a choice on what abilities to activate. That being White Wings, count Vanguard during your turn, this card gets plus 5k and 1 crit. Not too bad if your opponent's still at low damage, but its Black Wing ability is count Vanguard during your turn, all your opponent's units get power minus 5000. So White Wings make this pure and powerful and Black Wings curses your opponent. I like that. And I also like that this card can manipulate the cards in your bind zone because you really only want to keep it as one card in your bind zone. And each card of the ride line replaces that one card so you can consistently keep it as one card in the bind zone. So overall a very interesting ride line. And now for the Shaman King collab, here's the trial deck along with the third title booster, literally called Shaman King. And then for some trial deck cards, the first one is Legendary Samurai Amidamaru. Grade 1, AK Power, it has 0 crits, keep that in mind, and its skill is Count, Rearguard. During your turn, if your Vanguard is Yo Asakira, this card gets plus 5k power, and if your Vanguard is in Oversoul State, this card gets plus 1 crit. Oversoul State is basically you put a Spirit Unit that will have 0 crits, like this one, to your soul to activate specific abilities. Obviously, you do have to run 4 of these for the Archetype because Archetype reasons. Like this one being the boss unit, challenging the battle together, Yo Asakira. Grade 3, 30 power skills. Oversoul. At Vanguard. Once per turn, put a rear guard with Amidemaru from your rear guard to soul. Draw a card into the end of the turn. This unit gets this ability. Count Vanguard. All your front row units get plus 5k. I mean, it costs no counter blast, so this is fine. But second skill, Auto Vanguard. When this card attacks, you have 4 more damage. Cost counter blast 1. This unit gets plus 1 crit into the end of that battle. So it's one of those cheap power plus crit units. Nothing too special, but it does bring its pressure. And finally, here are the other ride lines for the Shaman King collab booster set. Main characters, obviously. And finally, next week we got the reveal of Die Kaiser. I'm getting excited. So that's it for these reveals. What do you guys think about the Estestial archetype along with the Shaman King stuff? Shaman King stuff is like whatever to me. As much as I like the franchise, I just hope that it's not like Monster Strike and Token Rambu where I just lose interest in it because it has like really weak abilities. But the Elestial archetype, I'm quite interested. I like the manipulation of the Bind Zone to activate different type of abilities. And depending on what's on your Bind Zone, you activate certain type of abilities. Now I hope that we do get some support that can manipulate more cards in the Bind Zone during battle. This is so that we could activate both abilities in the same turn. But I do really like the style and concept of it. But on that, have a nice day.